so it's a tale as old as time. A hitman seeks revenge, mm. and along the way, he discovers a deep love for his family, mm. only to be wronged once again, mm. leading him to seek revenge once I, again. You know, I've, I you keep hearing the same. Yep, <laughs> exactly. Here's a look at La Soga 3, Vengeance. You remember that memory stick? Dicen que te tiene una memoria llena de sorpresa. Is it down? Quiero la información que hay adentro. ¿Quién eres tú? ¿Qué lío tú estás metido? Qué puntería la tuya, primo. Venía ahora, precisamente. Que tú es lo que necesitamos para someter a tu esto corrupto a la justicia. Primo, mire, por eso es que este país tiene que cambiar para que tenga un futuro mejor. Let's just put a price on his head. I understood. <laughs> I understood the last part. <laughs> Nothing ominous there. No. The music? Nah. <laughs> La Soga, by the way, is rope in Spanish. You're welcome. I knew that. Uh, okay, one of the most recognized franchises in Latin America, and it's taking the U.S. by storm now. That's right, and leading the way is the star, director, writer, and producer of that film. By the way, all the same person. Manny Perez, the one and only. Ba -ba -da -da. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for We've being here. We've got the so Dominicano, right? we've got the Puerto Riqueña, and we have the Honor Rican. So we are, That's beautiful. We are so happy the, that you're the here. We're the United Nations right here. Do we do? That, that, that's right. <laughs> Straight out of the barn door. Uh, so congratulations. Thank you. By the way. The film is number one in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, it is, which is awesome, which is yeah, great. I would uh, say. And it's been playing there for like a month and a half yeah. now. And it's number one, uh, a film that is not a comedy. That's uh, not a comedy. That is not a comedy. Well, that yeah, that didn't look like a comedy. So, no, it's not. <laughs> so what's it like playing a hitman three uh, times in a row? Well, <laughs> it's, it's me because I'm a... I'm, I have a bad guy face, but I have a good heart. Oh. So what I try to do is bring a heart to this man, but you know, the, the, the face and, and the, yeah. it works with the character. It works with the character. Yeah, yeah okay. I, the, I'm getting the vibe. Yeah, I'm you're getting, getting the, vibe. the vibe. Like, yeah. you're a lovely man. I just met you in the yeah. hallway or chit-chatting, but yeah. I can see you playing kind of like this mm -hmm. twisted character. I've always played bad guys. Yeah. It's been my whole, I, that's my career, yeah. bad guys. The bad guys. But what I do is I sort of bring light to them and it makes them interesting. In and obviously way. it works because it's number one. Uh, how do you direct yourself? Well, that's a good question. That was hard, I'm going to say. No, it <laughs> was hard. I don't take orders very well. You know, what I did is I, 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 I looked at what we call the little monitor, and I focused on that many times. <laughs> and uh, that helped me out a lot. But okay. it was hard to direct yourself and see yourself and then go back and redo it because you're trying to get that's a, a feeling and an emotion and right. also direct the actor in front of you. Mm -hmm. That's so it just it, it drains you, but I got to tell you, it's an amazing product, and I'm thrilled and happy with it. And and Dominicans, because it's shot in Dominican public, are, are loving it, and mm -hmm. uh, so it's great. Mm -hmm. Now, do you get to pay yourself double since you get to do? <laughs> no, no. You know what's funny? I financed this film, so yeah, it was crazy. I financed this film, so how can I pay myself? <laughs> it's more wow. like I, I hope I could pay myself once. Right, you know, well, you will. once the film makes its sure. money back. Well, we often talk on this mm -hmm. on this show about if it doesn't exist, so many of our guests they just make it themselves. Got gotcha. you. And you you are an example of that. How long have you been preparing for a role in La Soga? Well, you know, I started La Soga ten years ago um, <laughs> with the, the first one, and it's based on a, on a true event, a mm -hmm. true guy. Uh, a sicario in the DR. Uh -huh. uh, so basically what I did is I took that character, I rewrote the character, made him more human, because uh, the guy's based on a monster. Yeah. And then 10 years later, I wrote part two and part three. Oh, I knew that if I did part two, I was going to do part three. Well, that's a lovely story. We disagree. We think you have been preparing for this. <laughs> Much longer. Tell them. Tell Since them. high school, I, I think, yeah. actually. And we have the proof right there. Yeah. Oh. Central High Senior wins <laughs> top award. Since your, since your first days in Providence, Rhode Island. What, what t Sir, you have some explaining to do. What oh, here? Lord, look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> you know what? My family, my family moved to Providence, Rhode Island in 79. Okay. And I was 10 years old. I just gave away my age. So <laughs> I wanted Latinos to always... Latinos don't age, though. I, mean, I always fun. wanted to be an actor. So there was a, a church down the block from where I lived. And I I went there, and on Saturday afternoon, they used to do children's theater, like mm -hmm. The Wizard of Oz, Peter Pan, Cinderella, and I was the uh, the tree, the green tree. Oh, he was the green tree. <laughs> that well. didn't speak English. <laughs> so from there, I just started, I wanted to sort of pursue this, so I moved to New York, major in uh, acting at Marymount Manhattan College, uh -huh. and here I am. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Look at that. But you're, so back to the film. It, it spans so many years in gotcha. both English mm -hmm. and in Spanish. Yeah. Run down the 
this man's CV, please? Okay, you played a Dominican wrestler <laughs> in Veneno. Veneno, yes. Veneno. What does that directly translate to? Uh, poison. 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 Uh, Veneno. There's the evil there streak go. again. Yeah. Okay, what else do we have? Look at you, Veneno. Uh, last summer, you played mm -hmm. alongside Mira Sorvino. And Jim Caviezel? Jim Caviezel. Uh, yeah. Sound of Freedom. Yeah. Yes, Sound of Freedom. Okay, that's not it. You were in Homelands. That's true. I, I think everybody Homeland. knows that little program right there. <laughs> yes. uh, so what, what, what keeps you doing what you do? What is it you love so much about what you do? Uh, man, this is my passion. Acting is my passion. And in this film, to me, is a personal film. It's a, I call it a, a, a social criticism on mm. what's happening in the DR. So I want to change. I, I want to change for what's happening in the DR. What's happening not, not only in the DR, but in third world countries, sure. yes. where corruption are taking over and the politicians are getting rich and the poor get, is getting more poor. So to me, I take this film and I write this character and I feel like this character is like my alter ego. Mm. Uh, it says what I can't say in real life, mm. so I use them to say it. And uh, wow. actually, the government there was pretty uh, angry at me. That means you're doing something right. Exactly. I was just going to say, sounds like it's working, your, yeah. your plan. Exactly. Um, so that's the idea. You <laughs> talked about uh, your family. You were born and raised? Born, born in the Dominican born Republic. Born in the Dominican Republic. Uh, came here when I was 10. Who's There's, this? Whoa, that's my mom and my little brother. Uh, uh, yeah, that's my little brother. You're one of 11? I'm one of 11. I'm Where? number 10. Andale. Exactly. Look at this. And that's me. That's my first. <laughs> that's my passport picture. Oh my god. And that's gosh. my little brother. And that's you know that I come from a from a, a town that we didn't have water or electricity. I used to walk around without shoes till, till I was five years old. Oh my and god. these are my nieces. Oh my gosh. Um, um, I love my nieces. They're beautiful. And yeah, and we're very united. I have like about 40, 50 nieces and nephews. Oh yeah. my god. So you know. Oh, and that's my dad. <laughs> that's What's my brother. It? And that's me. And that's my other brother. <laughs> We're just doing a little We're family call. You guys are doing an amazing job. Oh my God. We're yeah, just we nosy. Have, We're just we, nosy. I love that. Okay, before we let you go, our show is called New York Living, so we like to ask our guests some rapid fire questions about sure. things that are inherently New York. Uh, you game? I'm game. What's your order at the bodega? A la bodega, un cafecito. Un cafecito. Oh! Con leche. Con leche. Con leche. Suca or sin azúcar? Un chin chin de azúcar. Un chin chin. Un chin chin. I get it. Thank you. Chin chin. I'm, I understand yeah, that. You got it. Un chin chin. Yeah, yeah. The hand motion gave it away. Exactly. Okay. When you're traveling, are you taking the train, the subway, a cab, or are you walking? I took the subway here, You baby. took the subway? Yeah, Stars, there they're just like I us. know, I there love when go. they tell us they ride the subway. <laughs> Washington Heights or Tribeca? Washington Heights all the all way. All day. Yes, Another sir. film that okay. he went through. That's true, and we shot in my apartment in Washington Heights. In your apartment? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know that. We, yeah. we have to take a deeper dive into this man's <laughs> life. Last, last question. question. Yeah. Okay, pizza or a bagel? I like a pizza, mm -hmm. pepperoni. Me too. Uh, thin and, slice yeah, or thin slice, light in the cheese. Do you put any topping on it? Uh, no, just, just the way just it is. Nice okay. you know, but you know what I've added lately? Avocado. You guys should try what? it. What? Pizza? Oh, listen. Hold the listen, phone. Listen, listen, listen. Manny, it was going well. No, listen. <laughs> no, listen. You should add avocado to your pizza. For, pro and, for and, a shot of protein? And you're going to love me forever. Okay. Well. I'm a, I know what I'm doing this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Manny Perez. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank Thanks you so for much. starting us off on the highest of notes. That's right. It's a pleasure. Uh, and by the way, Last Olga 3, Vengeance is available right now on Apple TV+. Plus. Yes. Wow.